Hi, welcome to SBR Sports Picks. I'm Peter Lojak. Today is Friday, June 16th, and we are going to start. I'm going to start doing my first uh, official video previewing the upcoming college football season right now with the best of the best. Steve from collegefootballwinning.com. We're just going to take a quick look at uh, one of the more interesting teams coming up this year and uh, in the past few years, which is Washington, of course. Since they changed to a coach, Chris Peterson, expectations have been high, and those expectations, of course, have mostly been met. For the upcoming season, though, there will be some changes in terms of their roster, so it'll be interesting to see how uh, how Washington as a program adjusts with those losses, some big losses uh, on defense in the front seven and the secondary. Joe Ross, a big uh, you know home run hitting receiver, is gone from, from the season, but one constant is going to be, of course, uh, the main constant coach, Chris Peterson, and uh, Steve from collegefootballwinning.com, of course, has written a book covering that, covering uh, the uh, coaching tendencies of various uh, high-profile coaches in college football. Steve from collegefootballwinning.com quickly tell us about uh, about the book that you've written and and what's in the book and that's basically going to contain the uh, that basically contains the kind of uh, information that you're going to relate to us in this video right sure thank you peter yes yeah, so it's called the betting black book i wrote it last year it came out before the 2016 2017 season it's winning sports betting data from all of the fbs coaches uh, going into last season it became a number one bestseller in three different categories, including football and sports gambling. And that was on its pre-release. And uh, I mentioned the book again because this video is sort of a, a follow-up, another deep dive into the coaching history of Chris Peterson. And of course, Peter Loshak was kind enough to write a very gracious foreword in that book, The Betting Black Book. Uh, I'm grateful for that. So what it, what it, it, it's got the, the betting history of all 128 active FBS head coaches from last year, 10 years of college football betting data synthesized. Of course, this year we're going to have 130 active FBS head college football coaches, but Chris Peterson is a constant, and he's been at Washington since 2014. He's been their head coach, so he's got three seasons under his belt. Against the spread, he is 22-19. and 19. That's 53.66% against the spread. This is a good time to remind viewers that in the standard, in the world of bet 11 to win 10, break even is 52.38%. So when you hear a winning percentage that's higher than that, that's profitable. Anything lower than that and you as the better, you're losing money. So 22 and 19, you, one might object and say only 41 line games. So what sort of tendencies are you finding here? But here's the world that we live in here with college football betting analysis, Peter. Only around 41.5% of all FBS head coaches have been at their schools longer than Chris Peterson, longer than three years. So we are forced to, to dwell in the, the realm of small sample sizes and try to make meaning out of numbers that we can find there. So the nice thing about Chris Peterson at Washington is he has left a data trail from his eight seasons when he was head coach at Boise State. And by the way, at Boise State, he was 55% against the spread. So we've got 11 seasons worth of data between Boise State and Washington. So now that is a good sample size. So look for these, of course, what we're looking for, consistent tendencies. There are tendencies, not guarantees, tendencies. So let's look. See if you could find some obvious similarities here, Peter. Consistent tendencies. At Washington, his home against the spread winning rate is 47.62. Okay, less than profitable. At his home against the spread winning rate at Boise State, 46.67. Extremely close, right? Now his away against the spread winning rate at Washington, these are regular season away games, not including bowl games, 64.71% at Washington. You know what it was at Boise State? 64.72%. Oh, that would have been so <laughs> 61. It's 61.7%. Wow. I was very close. You, you, you were very close. <laughs> and look how consistent that is, home versus away, for Chris Peterson coached teams. 11 seasons, two different schools. So that combination, you put that together, and basically, you know, we're focusing here on what should jump out is the away game winning rate. Put it together, 62.5% against the spread away. Not only is that tremendously profitable, as you know, in sports betting, but Peterson coach teams have been profitable in those away games against the spread eight of the last nine seasons, mm -hmm. including all three seasons at Washington. 
so that's sort of point number one that jumps out. Tendency number one for Chris Peterson coached teams against the spread. Another one. When Peterson's teams are ranked in the AP, the preseason, top 25, so expectations are high, in other words, his against the spread winning rate is exactly 52.38. So that is break even. But when his teams are not ranked in the preseason AP top 25, so expectations maybe not so high, his against the spread win rate skyrockets to 61.1%. So for this season, when you hear these great against the spread winning tendencies for Chris Peterson, just keep in mind that we have every reason to believe that in the preseason AP top 25, uh, Washington's going to be a top 10 team, right. so certainly in the top 25. So that's just sort of a, that, that's a warning, so look out for that. Now in the betting black book, in the book that I wrote, I divided point spread values into distinct groups, and one group was what I referred to as sort of the middle range point spreads. So that's defined as point spreads between a full touchdown and just under two touchdowns, so 17, 7 to 13 and a half points. Those games have clear but not prohibitive favorites. And this is a good time to remind people that the average point spread involving FBS teams, college football, the past 10 years is 13.14. So just under two touchdowns. Interestingly enough, when it comes to Chris Peterson, whether his teams are favorites or underdogs in those middle range point spread games, Peterson's teams were 67.74% against the spread. And that's through 31 games combined from Boise and Washington. So, okay, what, what viewers, listeners are hearing is the betting black book essentially represents trends. So it's giving you all the synthesized data that some would say, well, that's just trend betting. Some like trend betting, some hate it. So how effective is that? I want to give you one example so people don't walk away thinking it's a useless book, it's not going to do any good, it's found random statistics. Not true. Uh, let's take Kevin Sumlin for a moment at Texas A&M. Last year in the book, before the 2016-2017 season started, we reported in conference, his against the spread record, so in the SEC, Kevin Sumlin, was 37.5%. Very bad. No other coach with at least 30 in-conference games had such a low against the spread winning percentage. So how did he do 2016 in conference in the SEC? He went two and six, 25% against the spread. So again, consistent tendencies. Uh, one more quick one, since we're talking about Kevin Sumlin. Entering 2016, I reported in the book, the betting black book, Kevin Sumlin is 0 and five against the spread after an in-season bye week. How did he do in his one in-season bye week in 2016, 2017? He lost again. He was 0-1. So now he's 0-6 against the spread in in-season bye weeks. So there are meaningful numbers here, meaningful trends. But the conclusion about Chris Peterson, Peter, uh, is for his coach teams, three of them. Number one, regular season away games, 62.5% against the spread, profitable eight of the last nine years. Number two, when ranked in the preseason AP Top 25, as they are going to be this year, his against the spread winning percentage is break even, 52.38%. But when they're not in the preseason top 25, win rate is 61.1%. And the final point in games where the closing point spread was between 7 and 13 and a half points, didn't matter if his teams were underdogs or favorites, those middle range point spread games, Peterson coach teams are 67.74% against the spread. So those are the, the three takeaway points here. All right, mm -hmm. Steve from collegefootballwinning.com and Lightning, as always, this is what Steve does. And Steve, tell us a little bit about more, uh, more about yourself and what you do and what your website, collegefootballwinning.com, is all about. Thank you, Peter. Collegefootballwinning.com, it's a company whose sole purpose is to do college football betting analysis and everything surrounding college football betting analysis. We're a company that's founded on making betting recommendations only in college football and doing that algorithmically. Our algorithmic betting recommendations we call our formula. The lifetime of the formula, this goes back now to 2006, the lifetime of the formula is 60.16% against the spread. That's a total of 662 formula betting recommendations. And if you're wondering, has there been a regression to the mean after all this time, the formula this past season, 2016-2017, was 62.26% against the spread. So if anything, it, it, it might even be getting better. So 
the, the deal with this year, though, Peter, is we're not taking on any new clients. So if people want to come to collegefootballwinning.com, and I still encourage them to do so, we have a waiting list. So you could sign up on the waiting list. It doesn't cost anything. But again, we're not taking on any new clients at this time. But if you like our product, you like what we do, get on our waiting list at collegefootballwinning.com. All right. Sounds great. Steve from collegefootballwinning.com. Thanks so much. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.